Hi everyone, I'm Anise Chagpar. I'm an associate professor here at the Yale School of Medicine and at the Yale Cancer Center. I know that many of you are as excited and perhaps a little bit intimidated as I am about the new AJCC 8th edition to breast cancer staging. A few quick updates. What's going to be included in the new staging system? One. LCIS, at least in its classic form, is no longer going to be classified as TIS. Great news for us because we struggled so much telling patients who had classic LCIS that this really was not cancer, nor was it pre-cancer. It was simply a marker of increased risk, and yet it needed to be classified as a stage zero cancer in the AJCC 7th edition. Good news. LCIS is not a cancer, and it will not be in the 8th edition. Second change in the AJCC staging system, multiple synchronous tumors. Many of us struggled with how do we express in a succinct way the fact that there were multiple synchronous tumors in the same specimen. Well, now they've introduced a new uh, indicator, a small m, to indicate multiple tumors. We still only measure the largest tumor size, but at least we have a way to indicate whether people had more than one tumor deposit. And finally, the big change in the AJCC staging system was the incorporation of the prognostic staging system. Prognostic staging included the addition of grade, hormone receptor status, HER2 receptor status, and genomic tests, whether using things like Oncotype DX, Mammaprint, Endopredict, PAM50, Breast Cancer Index. So now we're really incorporating all of the genomic information into our staging system. This can either upstage people or downstage people, but taking into account more of the tumor biology and the response that people will have with new state-of-the-art regimens. If you want to learn more about the new staging system or even more about breast cancer in general, I encourage you to check out our course on Coursera. It's called An Introduction to Breast Cancer, and I hope you'll really enjoy it.